things don't seem small anymore. That uh, I woke up from a nap and uh, everything went from really small to really huge. Well, then these giant balls of medicine are not going to work anymore. The change actually makes things simpler. Your occipital lobe is acting up, giving you a migraine. I don't have a headache. Not all migraines present that way. It's called Alice in Wonderland syndrome. Seriously? I never joke. The good news is it's treatable with medication. The bad news is it can make you very, very late for very important dates. I sometimes joke. Thank you, doctor. Well, if you really want to thank me, my department's not really a department. Because my boss says he doesn't have the money. Which provides a nice contrast with you. We're trying to find money in our budget so we don't have to move our operations overseas. I get it. Answer's no. Shouldn't have said anything. I'm just glad that the symptoms showed up before you left for China. I'm not sure the doctors over there would be so optimistic, considering that me about Jing Shen Ji Bin can the Han Yin Chong. The short Chong one. What are you guys talking about? Oh, just how different the two cultures are. For example, our opinions on mental illness. Here, it's considered a normal, treatable condition. Is everything okay? Everything's fine. I could have you checked into a facility that exclusively treats mental disorders. How's that sound? Whatever's gonna get him better. Let's try the medication first. Hey, how's my dad doing? Uh, great. His vision's back to normal, and if he remains asymptomatic through the night, we'll be able to release him in the morning. Any chance that could happen before nine? Our stock dropped a couple points today with the news that he's sick. I would love for him to get out of here before the market opens. No offense, but uh, I think it's terrible your dad's closing down all your American operations. I don't think he's moving the company out of greed. He's moving it out of grief. My mom, she died four months ago. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And it's been hard for him. Living in their house, driving down the same streets. I mean, he's constantly reminded of her. Dad? I need an intubation kit in here. What's going on? Angiography showed a hemorrhagic site in the left lower lobe. I think it could be hyperviscosity syndrome. Are you sure Foreman's okay with us being in his office? He's never gonna know. He's actually in here right now. Blood count and protein count are normal. I think it could be hyperviscosity syndrome. Sorry, but after Park sent out her hospital-wide non-apology apology this morning, I assume the plagiarism is the new black. If it makes Andrews look sympathetic... Copying him makes you look pathetic, and I will pay you not to go to anger management classes. What about another clotting problem? Factor 5, light deficiency. It's possible. Adams is the one who needs to deal with her anger. Myelodysplastic syndrome. I heard about your conversation with the patient's daughter. You were hostile. Well, their company's making a decision I strongly disagree with. Yet you were never anything but courteous to the racists and rapists in prison. Those guys made decisions you supported? Myelodysplastic syndrome. I'm guessing it has something to do with the funeral you attended yesterday morning. I was at a job interview. You got to work at 9.15. Closest hospital with an opening in your specialty is 45 minutes away. It's not possible. My condolences. I wasn't at a funeral. Well, that just leaves everywhere but a job interview. Get out. Who goes there? Reveal yourself. Now? Well, we would, but orthopedics is still squatting in two-thirds of my office, which is weird, because he got a large check last night. From a corporation that's going through a very public belt tightening. It means this donation was given under duress. The patient didn't tell me the whole story, but he did say he'd be thrilled if we didn't cash this. Got a policy review meeting in here in five minutes. Goodbye.
What are you doing? Holding your ass. You really didn't know? House. I was trying to help you out of here. Figured for sure he'd punch me in the face, thus proving it's a natural response. My God, you have superhuman discipline. And glutes. Get your hands off of me. Sorry. Go. I hear one of you thinks I'm a real bastard. I guess that would be me. Your boss uses blackmail and you question my professional ethics. Will you be instituting worker safety regulations in your new factories? Oh, absolutely. What about juice boxes in the break room for the children you'll be hiring? Charges of child exploitation against American companies have been blown way out of proportion. My 10-year-old cousin lives near Cebu City, works at an American factory. I am so sorry. It's the best thing for him. It sucks, but the Filipino factories suck worse, and the schools would suck if they existed. So this is the family's best hope. Are you okay? This is supposed to itch like this. Itching. Interesting. Not interesting. Already went away. Doubly interesting. Means we have to explain the arrival and the departure. Oh. It's real mature house. What do you mean? This is outlandishly childish. Custom built this puppy. It's got 106 LEDs, each one sending light to your eye at a slightly different wavelength. Turn that off. Different wavelengths are stimulating your autonomic nervous system. So it's making you feel like you're on a boat in choppy waters. Oh, cool. You think I'm not... You think I'm not gonna go to Foreman with this? Oh, you will. And I'll deny it, and he'll believe you, but then these two believe that the policy of protecting American jobs starts at home. So, he'll never testify against me. And you won't be able to prove anything. Now, if I punched him in the face, that he could prove. I remember you saying something about how loyalty to real estate was stupid. This is about reclaiming stolen property. Loyalty to real estate is stupid, because loyalty is stupid. Here's patriotism now, loyalty. You hate ice cream too? French vanilla, yeah. To willfully identify yourself as something else is a perversion of self-expression. I had a thought. Other than the fact that loyalty is the basis of all meaningful relationships, the daughter said that her mother died of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. What if she was misdiagnosed? Dutch chocolate's not bad. Not even that. Her lymphoma could have been caused by a virus, HTLV-1, which our patient contracted through having sex with his wife. In other words, loyalty gave him cancer. I like it. Start him on radiation. This is a waste of time. There's no way that Robin gave me an STD. I know this is hard, and I'm sorry about your wife. If you'd like to talk to someone, we do have grief counselors at the hospital. You sound like my daughter. I miss my wife, but it's not driving my decision making. You were CEO since 1988. You decided to move your company right after your wife died. Stands to reason that your emotions factored in. My wife... is the only thing that keeps me here. I visit her grave once a week. So your daughter was wrong. You just really need a lot of money. You ever hear of Congo Gumi? Construction company in Japan founded in the year 578, family owned and operated, building Buddhist temples for 50 generations. Went bankrupt five years ago. You have any idea how that last CEO must have felt? I'm sorry, I, I have to move. Yeah. Your heart rate is speeding up. Do you feel any tightness in your chest? Yes, I figured it was from the radiation. I think you're having a heart attack. No. No.
Patient had VTAC in the echo lab, so we cathed him, but coronary arteries were clean. If the plumbing's fine, check the electrical. EP study. Nice idea. Even has a metaphor in it. Not worth more than my honor, but delightful all the same. I'm not going to lose. My college roommate is the editor of the Yale Law Review. She's writing my opening statement. Well, then you will be eloquent in your loss. This case boils down to he said, she said. He said, I've been working at this hospital for 15 years and I'm taking self-improvement classes. She said, I've been a fellow for two months and I'm kind of weird. No, he said, I'm a drunk idiot who thinks he can grab girls' behinds without ramifications. But he was drunk in the hospital? I already told Foreman he'd been drinking that night. Andrews was taking sexual harassment classes at AA. That means he didn't get in trouble for drinking. Which means that Foreman signed off on it, which means that he set all the wheels in motion. Forget that. Wild speculation. Go do the EP study. No sign of any electrical abnormalities in the right atrium. I'm so dead. I, I think House set me up. Have you sent the committee a uh, character reference for me? I thought you don't like favors. I don't like gifts. It wouldn't be a gift to just be telling the truth. I hardly know you. O2 set is 89. Did we perforate? Is he tamponading? Heart rate's only 90, neck veins are flat. Then why isn't he saturating? Seems healthy to me. Let's release him. My option to sell Barton Foods at $34 is about to expire. So I thought the patient would be better by now. Instead, I am going to lose $20,000. 20? Twenty. The five plus the five I stole from Wilson plus the 10 I got on margin. You're gonna have to talk to my bankruptcy attorney. Unless there is a way that you can get your money back. Give me the full $200,000. And extrapolating, tomorrow you'll owe just shy of a million dollars. It's your own fault. You forced me to go with the options. You're damn angry. She's screwing with my finances. Regular stock this time, nice and safe. I'm not angry. I don't know if you're trying to make you me angry. You used to bet on yourself. That means low self-esteem. So if I give you two hundred thousand dollars, I'll feel smart and pretty. Low self-esteem can be brought on by exposure to one's relatives, nice clothes, and anger. Classic symptoms of a family gathering. You were late the other day because you were having breakfast with Grammy Adams or Cousin It. She was nagging you about finding a husband. All right, this is getting annoying. I'll just tell you what I was... Ah, ah, ah. No spoilers. They ruin everything. Pulmonology was that way. Our patient's lung problem is not a lung problem. It's a brain problem. We're consulting with neurology. That's my old boss. You don't actually think this is neurological. I don't know what it is. Maybe I should just accept the patient's death if getting help would lead to awkwardness. <laughs>